for our listeners, you have to hop on YouTube as well so you can see it. <laughs> it's so Thank good. You, studio. Ang ganda. And it's super of that, aesthetic. Mm. We will be having a giveaway later towards the end of oh our episode. Gosh. So you guys need to stay tuned because we will yes. be sharing the mechanics of how you can get um, the Studio Neo. Congratulations on our number three on the oh trending podcast. Oh, everyone, thank you so much. Grabe. Pinag-uusapan pa lang namin to ni Ayin na goal natin for 2021 to be on the charts. We, and we here have we to are. see ourselves on the charts. And here we are, top three sa trending t- podcasts. And uh, super, super grateful. Nakatawa. Yes. Sobra. Hindi na, honestly, I feel like hindi natin ito magagawa without Hans' help. Kasi ang hirap Actually, ng consistency, ah. Sobra. Sobrang hirap. It's so hard. And knowing na uh, we are our busy selves and, alam mo yun, making time every week to do this and stuff. So, <sighs> And can I, I just it. say, because we are on the charts, ang ating, <laughs> lumang level up na rin tayo. So, just for um, you guys, Meron coming uh, updates. So first of all, our microphone is new. Thank you, Mr. Yay. Joshua Sebastian. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Aking Mr. for sponsoring the mic. <laughs> our mic. <laughs> and, and then if you can Be- see our headphones. Mm, ang ganda. Oh. We're using Studio Regent, right? Yes. For our listeners, you have to hop on YouTube as well so you can see it. <laughs> it's so Thank good. You, studio. Ang ganda. And it's super of that, aesthetic. Mm. We will be having a giveaway later towards the end oh of our gosh. episode. So you guys need to stay tuned because we will yes. be sharing the mechanics of how you can get um, the Studio Neo. Mm. Uh, I our our first well. ever, our first ever giveaway. Super duper and aesthetic. our first pair, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, grabe for Studio Neo. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you so much again Studio for being uh, for supporting Camp Confidence Radio. This is our first <laughs> brand collaboration with oh, Camp Confidence. Oh. We Super. are legit. We are legit. We are legit, <laughs> madam. We are legit. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is so exciting. But anyway, mm-hmm. so for today's episode, for this week's episode, we're talking about our core values. So uh-huh. last week, ano ba yung pinag-usapan natin last week? Goal setting. Goal setting, manifesta- manifestos. We discussed mm-hmm. our manifestos. Tapos, and ang daming nag-feedback. Thank you so much for tagging us. Natutuwa talaga kami always pag nababasa namin yung, lalo yung goals for last week. Oh, sobrang yes. nakaka-inspire. We have such a good community of dreamers and doers mm-hmm. and hustlers. Exactly. And it's so nice yes. to be surrounded by that energy. From Coming from goal setting and manifestation, blah, blah, blah. Now, we talk about core values because core values are also super important when we want to, you know, build a life that we're, we're happy about. So, for you, why do you think our core values are important? Ako, core values is important for me because I think it's my personal code of ethics or code of conduct. Parang, in life, there will always be dilemmas. And kapag hindi mo na alam kung ano yung gagawin mo, you always go back to number one, your why, and number two, your core values. Um, is this who you really are? E, yun yung parang pillar mo. This is what you stand for in life. Yun yung mga pinaniniwalaan mo in life. How about you? Why is it important for you, yung core values? Same... Identifying your core values. Oh, absolutely. I feel like, okay, so first of all, I went to a Catholic school. And you know Same. how in very traditional Catholic schools, parang values are one of the things na talagang binibida sa atin. So mm-hmm. as a kid, I was always thinking about, okay, values, values, values. And it didn't really make sense for me on a personal level until I was an adult. Kasi nung bata ako, parang iniisip ko, ay, yan yung minememorize namin sa school. Exactly. That's what uh. we need to learn. 
Pero, mm -hmm. our values, I think, there's something that we need to define for ourselves. Now, yes, merong mga values na ineimpose sa school, sa work, di ba? May mga company values, my school values. Pero at the same time, the, the same way na merong yung may values yung institutions natin, dapat meron tayo on a personal level values rin. Kasi, oh, I took notes this time. I know who to quote. <laughs> I, I can it. cite my sources. <laughs> so according to my favorite self-development book of all time, I still have to get into Atomic Habits, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so excited but, for that. Um, for, according to Stephen R. Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, the ability to subordinate an impulse to a value is the essence of a proactive person. Reactive people are driven by feelings, by circumstances, by conditions, by their environment. Proactive people are driven by values, carefully thought about, selected, and internalized values. And what I love about this, kasi sinasabi na there are two kinds of people. People who are proactive na talagang, you know, we go out of our way to build the life we want. We go out of mm. our way to plan, to figure out how to get to our goals whereas there are reactive people na kung ano na lang yung mangyari will act according to the situation according to our emotions etc so important yung values in this especially in the context of this quote kasi we need to have something guiding us outside of the emotions kasi syempre um, obviously, like there are days when I'm like sad, lonely, angry. Mm -hmm. Pero our actions can't depend on our moods because our moods will fluctuate constantly. So we need something that doesn't fluct fluctuate and something that we can hold to. Kaya nga siya core values. Eh. Kasi yes. Sa kaloob-looban, sa kagitna-gitnaan. That's Totoo. what you have. Yes. And yun nga, sabi din dun sa book na we are responsible. Meaning, we are response able. We are able to respond to these situations. So if you have these core values in you, meron kang kumbaga anchor in your life. Kung, kung paano ka mag-respond sa lahat ng mga situations na nangyayari sa'yo. Or kung ano man yung mga external factors na binabato sa'yo ng buhay. So let's say for example, with your health. Kunwari nagkasakit ka. How do you respond to that? Magiging malungkot ka na lang ba forever na, oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for, my, for myself, may sakit ako. Whereas, you are responsible on how you will act on that situation. Kung may sakit ka, anong gagawin mo? Uminom ka ng gamot, magpaka-healthy ka, uminom ka ng um, healthy, eh, kumain ka ng healthy food and stuff. Again, you have the capacity to control your emotions. You have the capacity to control your situation and how you will react to it because we are response able. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. It's empowering to think mm -mm. na Yes, our circumstances may be a certain way, but as human beings, we have the power to choose and decide what we do next. And mm -hmm. sometimes, if that's all we have, then we need to really hold on to our values to guide us to make that next step. But all so this how did you also doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean, though, na um, hindi valid yung emotions natin. Oh, yeah. Kasi sabi uh -oh. ko kanina, yung emotions. Parang, ako, kapag kunwari malungkot ako, hinahayaan ko lang yung sarili kong umiyak. Sige, okay lang na umiyak ako ngayon. Pero, after ilang minutes at nakaiyak na ako, okay, let's do this. Ganun. And in that situation kasi, you also choose to feel your feelings. So, you're not yes. helpless. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like acknowledging our in emotions and acknowledging our sadness, acknowledging our anger, they're not helpless. They're choices mm -hmm. as well, in a sense, yes. diba? So, ako pag heartbroken, wow! Oh. <laughs> when I feel heartbroken, <laughs> rejected, or disappointed, frustrated, whatever I do to cope with that emotion, whether it's sleeping, ayoko na. Today, you know what, today, I'm gonna give my, myself rest. Mm -hmm. That's also a choice. So we don't have to look at it as if we're giving up. It's we're choosing to rest, to take a break. So even then, it might seem like a reactive thing to do. But actually, taking care of ourselves is a very proactive thing. So how did you personally like determine your core values? And when? When pala? 
Ako, um, hindi ko siya na, na, kumbaga na-realize in a snap na parang in one sitting, ah, alam ko na yung life core values ko. Kasi it's difficult. Mm. Parang, um, hindi siya isang upuan lang magaga- ma-identify mo na, ah, ito yung pinaka-importante sa buhay ko. Ako, what I did was, it wasn't, it's a, it's a visual exercise eh. Okay, so I got this from the book of Stephen Covey na Seven Habits. Uh, ano daw, ito medyo morbid to, pero sabi niya na imagine yourself attending your own funeral. And there will be um, certain number of people who will recite or give you your eulogy. Ano yung mga gusto mong marinig? Parang, konare kapag may anak mo, ano yung gusto mong marinig mo from your child? Or your colleague? What's, what are the things that you would love to hear from them? And I realized na parang, when, when I think about that, I realize kung ano talaga yung pinaka-importante sa buhay ko. Um, like for me, it's uh, ano ba, authenticity. I want to hear from them na ito siguro yung pinaka um, totoong taong nakilala ko sa buhay ko. That's number one. Or uh, if you talk about Mama Earth, that's Riza. Parang ganon. Yun yung I think that's also one of the exercises you can do for yourself as well to identify your core values. I, we will deep dive later kung ano mm-hmm. yung mamaya enumerate natin kung ano yung mga values natin. So, how about you? Paano mo, paano mo siya, how did you come across your <laughs> core values? Paano mo siya na-realize? Honestly, like what I said earlier, diba? For a long time, akala ko talaga, when we talk about values, these are things na we come across at school. Kasi sa school naman ang ang motto like truth and love. So parang honesty ganyan ganyan. Pero ako on a personal level, like yes, I can I definitely recognize the importance of that, but getting to know myself, like trying to figure out what values really resonate with me, it didn't occur to me until the pandemic. Na parang all of a sudden, <laughs> like start de ba? Remember, oh my gosh, by the way, happy anniversary lockdown. Happy yes. anniversary. Hi. One year na tayo dito. Marami tayong and natutunan. <laughs> napaisip ako, oh my gosh, sobrang dami talaga. Sobrang dami natutunan. Uh, nagbago yung mundo eh. Nagbago yung mundo, nagbago sobra. yung buhay. And I don't know if you remember yung feeling ng start ng pandemic. Hin- nakakatakot lumabas ng bahay. Kahit garahe, natatakot ako lumabas. Mm. And nasa lahat school natigil trabaho na tigal. We couldn't ship out orders. So, oh my gosh, grabe. <laughs> nakaka- naalala grabe ko yung yun. time na yun. Anxiety. Na parang, you wanna hustle, you can't. Yes. Tapos, ang nangyari nun, napaisip ako, bakit ko nga ba ginagawa, yung lahat ng ginagawa ko? What's the mm. purpose? I, I kind of felt like, because before the pandemic, I was a travel vlogger. I would travel and then I would make, you know, fun vlogs, ganyan. I was a backpacker, which is which was fun. Pero napaisip ako, is this what I really want to be doing? It was fun. Like, talagang, I, even after the pandemic, mm. when this is all over, I'll go back to backpacking for sure. Pero that isn't what drives me. That's not what I want to grow old and be remembered about. That's just something I do for fun for myself. But mm-hmm. as far as core values are concerned, I don't want to be just that person. I I want to be more. I want to be able to provide for the people in my life. Yun, yung sobrang ang helpless kasi ng feeling when I when I couldn't do that. True. Ang helpless ng feeling na I realized, you know, how short life is na, you know, a pandemic can sweep off like a, a huge chunk of our population. Parang it could be anyone. That's I look right. back and think, yung mga tao sa buhay ko, how was my relationship with those people? Toto- and it was just oh really, God. talagang, it was such a weird time Now I had to ask myself, what are my values? Like, what do mm. I care about? So, 
that's when you know later we'll discuss more about that but that's when i realized i need to sit down and figure out what really matters to me and dun din ako napabasa ng seven habits of highly effective people <laughs> kasi wala talaga akong magawa i would spend afternoon sa balcony with truffle yung aso ko mm-hmm. and i would just highlight notes and again here's another quote from the book that i want to share Now, mm-hmm. it says here, people can't live with change if there's not a changeless core inside them. The key to the ability to change is a changeless sense of who you are, what you what you are about, and what you value. Because I was at that point that I just want to be a better person. I want to be a better version of myself. I want to be, you know, the best Ayin I can be. But mm-hmm. if I wanted to change into that person... I need to have something that will serve as my anchor. And in this case, those are my goals. So that's when I had to identify it. So I'm new to this. This is like a year old uh-huh, for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> And it has changed my life. I mean, you know how the last year has really changed. Toto, diba? oh, so bright. Honestly, changed every one of us. Alam mo yung tipong hindi, walang mm-hmm. kompanyang nag um, plan about. I mean, merong Of, of course, may mga plans. Pero, no one imagined that the entire the world scale. would stop. Oh my gosh, grabe. Tapos parang, ako din, I realized, ano ba, parang it stripped away everything from us. That it just left the, alam mo yun, the most important thing in your life. Which is, Crazy. your life. Mm-hmm. And, aside from you, ano pa yung mas, im- ano pa yung importante talaga? What do you live for? Why are you even living? This might be, ano ba, very daunting to ask yourself, pero it's helpful to ask yourselves these questions. Pero ikaw, ano ba, how did, how did your values affect your decision making? Ano mo yun, yung paano, paano na-affect ang buhay ni Ayin Bernos with these Ooh. core values? So, for example, one of the biggest pivots na nangyari sa akin was how I created content. Because, again, it, it's hard to find your voice on social media because you want to be known. The currency on social media is how many people listen to you, how many people watch you. It's inevitable that you care about that. But I'm misguided ako in a sense that I'm just trying to be like everybody else. I'm trying to be trendy because that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Ganun talaga. But then, I had to think to myself, is this sustainable for me? Am I happy? Mm-hmm. How am I impacting others? So actually, no pandemic, I gave up on content creation entirely. Sabi ko, I don't think I have impact as a content creator. I don't think I create impact. So I'll just focus on entrepreneurship. So I focused on the business. I was gone for like six months. Didn't do anything for content. Until... Nung medyo mas na-establish ko na what matters to me, you know, like, I want to be a more compassionate person. I want to create compassionately. I want to, you know, be, have integrity with my work, ganyan. I want to speak about the things I care about and I know people will also benefit from. So, I did like an overhaul of my YouTube channel and dami kong tinake down the videos and I feel like it doesn't really represent me or what mm-hmm. I want to stand for or and dami talagang binago. And then when I started creating again on TikTok on on to- TikTok mostly. That's when I guess it my content was more or less guided because I knew the kind of person that I wanted to be like mm-hmm. on the internet and offline. And I wanted yung kusino ko online would be the same person offline. And naging mas, mas I guess mas, mas authentic ren for me. Mas oh. natural. Hindi, hindi pinipilit na yung content creation for me. And mm-hmm. honestly, nawala sa isip ko yung, oh, I need to have this many followers. And once that changed, nagula ako. That's when people started resonating more with what I had to say, which is so crazy because I've been doing this since 2016. Mm-hmm. Parang, huh? Like, all I had to do was to stop trying Ta-ta. and to be more real with myself. Mm-hmm. So, ayun, like, I guess when I figured out what my values are in real life, it translated sa trabaho ko online and trabaho ko sa business. And then, of course, there's also the other side of 
content creation na syempre brand deals more than just creating a following um, having to say no to a lot of different kasi nga you know I mm-hmm. integrity is important to me so yeah. if I'm talking about Morena the label I can't be with a brand that's like promoting whitening Totoo. especially knowing what I stand for and what I've always stood for Oh, oh, sobrang totoo to in terms of brand deals. Ganito rin ako actually. Um, um kapag kasi ako mamama Earth ako, 'di ba? So mm-hmm. I I make sure na kung ano tama kay gusto ko na kung ano yung nakikita nila sa social media, yun din talaga ako in real life because y- number one, I don't even have to try. Na parang yun nga going back to brand deals. Um may mga offers na hefty but you have to decline because that's i'm not being authentic to who i am kasi authenticity number one is is one of my number one core values as well so um i ask myself totoo ba ako sa sarili ko kapag sasabihin ko to on social media Tsaka, again ayoko ring lokohin yung yung followers ayoko ring lokohin yung mga sumusuporta sa akin at sa atin at lalong lalo na rin sa brands namin um, especially in business this uh, my core values also translates into my businesses because um I want to be an owner na walks the talk. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun. Parang kung ano yung nakikita nila sa social media, gusto ko um, mirror din yun kung sino kami as a company, sino kami as a brand. So, kaya nga sa uh, Mink, we advocate self-confidence, women empowerment for Lana. We talk about um, we talk about uh, self-confidence, Mama Earth, preserving the environment, and people over profits. So, ayun, is a, kumbaga, with, with the current core values I personally have, and what the core values of my company, kapag kinombine yun, sobrang, yun nga, sobrang magre-resonate talaga siya sa mga tao. Kasi yung Lana before, kwento ko lang, na, I just want to have another skincare brand. Mababaw. Mm-hmm. Walang pinaniniwalaan, walang paninindigan, walang prinsipyo. Gusto ko lang magbenta. Yun lang talaga. Kasi I was so young. I was 23, 24. Ay, hindi pala, 27. Wala ako nun. Matanda na pala ako. <laughs> <laughs> uh, parang wala pa akong ganun ka. Wala pa akong vision na um, we are doing this for the environment. So, when we started rolling out this program, na parang na-realize ko na I am for the environment. When we started rolling out this program, saka nag-blow. Saka lumaki yung, yung lana. Saka nakilala yung lana. Na parang we are doing this for you and for the environment. So, yeah. Na, it's very, very important as well for businesses na meron kayong core values and disseminated to dapat sa lahat ng mga employees niyo and subordinates niyo. Yeah, can I just say, yung Salana, kasi from an outsider's perspective, I want to flex. Um, one of the things that I really admired about you and how you run your business. Naalala ko nung start ng pandemic, you know how we were already talking, we mm-hmm. were already discussing the podcast like how we're gonna shift uh, like y- yung processes operations like lagi namin pinag-uusapan ng sister ko na parang can mm. you believe Riza is housing her employees as in mm. you you switched your cause okay for our listeners who don't know the background <laughs> there was supposedly like a storefront na parang walk-in store talaga siya parang groceries mm. your waste groceries yes. thing and they Pangarap were gonna launch mo. it Mm-mm. Pero nagkaroon ng pandemic. So, what they did was they converted that space to like housing for their staff. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, para to lessen exposure, ganyan. And that's what uh, I always think, I want to be that kind of person. You know, now when you have the resources to make those decisions, you make those decisions. Mm-hmm. And that's guided by your core values. If mm-hmm. you weren't able to like determine what's important to you from the get-go, even if my resources ka, you won't even be able to think about that. So, so ayan. Flex ko lang. Meron oh, silang housing. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> It's madam. amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Ooh. 
So thank you. You always inspire me, Madam. Like I wanna be Ooh, that girl. You boss. inspire me too. <laughs> you are that girl, boss. Come on, <laughs> Abundance Ay. 2021. Ayun, Man. kasi for me, one of my core values din talaga will always be kindness. Um, kindness no matter what. Um, kumbaga, ang pinapangarap ko kasi talaga yun eh, yung zero waste grocery store na may, refill, may refillables na, etc., etc. We, mag, mag, magkakaroon na ng website, ginagawa na lahat, branding, etc. We were le- ready to launch. But then again, I realized na hindi, never magiging successful ang kahit anong business kung hindi mo aalagaan yung mga tao mo at ang mga kliyente mo. So, number one top priority for me is the safety of my employees. Mas magastos, yes. Mas mas maraming supplies, maraming, alam mo yun, bibili kami ng beddings, etc., etc. Pero, we are willing to do that for their safety and our client safety. So, Ayun, again, core values, friends. It's I was very there important. for the shoot, yung photo shoot for Lana. And oh my gosh, ang saya nila dun. So just saying. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Para kami yung magtotropa lang. <laughs> very, ano, very family vibe. Very actually. family, yes, yes. So, like, as, that's like on a personal level. But how about, do you have core values for your business? And how do you translate that into how you run the operations, deal with your employees, ganyan. Kami, ang core values naman namin sa company number one is honesty. Honesty to our employees, honesty to all, honesty to all your subordinates, your bosses, and of course, our clients. Number two is people and people and planet over profits, mm-hmm. always. Um, Yun nga, kasi sabi ko kanina, we will never be here, we will never be where we are right now if not for our employees and our clients. So, people and planet over profits. That's amazing because I, I, I wrote the same thing. Pero, you know how it's hard to execute it sometimes, especially when you're at the beginning, you're bootstrapping. You have Mm-mm. to, parang, ang dami mong kailangan i, what do you call this, parang i-compromise because you're figuring out how to do things but i also realized that if you prioritize your core values magma manifest naman siya in different ways so like for example kasi right now we're a very very small team as in just to give you an illustration of how small our team is there's me <laughs> And then I have Simon who helps me with our operations, like production wise for our merch. Tapos, um, we have our online business manager who is based in Sa- in Leyte. Wait, lumipat, lumipat pala si, si Mai ng tinitiran. She's now in Tacloban, sorry. In Tacloban, yes. Tacloban. Tapos, we have my sister who is in med school doing our customer service. So that's Hi, our team. Yes. So we have like one full time staffer, and then we have a freelancer, Mai, and then we have my sister who is part time and is in med school. So, alam mm-hmm. yun, we're really trying our best to get everything done. But at the same time, it's it's difficult sometimes. But I I like that. Um, I feel like we're good as. As far as teammates are concerned, you know, like we're hindi. I don't. I don't think um. Pangit yung yun just for the sake of like getting things done. Like weekends are weekends. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. if if hindi nila ma ako masagot on a Saturday, that's fine. Cause like we we need to prioritize also the same way I talk about how I personally have boundaries, then I expect the same from them, and it's okay if that's how they are because that's how it's supposed to be but a holiday you know there's pay extra pay on holiday if they you ever have to work kahit na personally it's hard for me as a solo entrepreneur <laughs> to pay for that alam mo yun like ang, hey, ako hindi na ako na-excite pag holiday eh ang mahal kasi <laughs> ang mahal, mahal diba <laughs> so pero but they deserve it anyway. yeah parang even if it's at the cost if it costs us more but that's I want. That's how I want to be treated as an employee as well. So, I I give the same back. And then on the other hand, I guess with like Morena the label, one of the things na 
important sa amin is inclusivity. The whole point of Morena the Label is to empower people to feel beautiful and to kind of remove the beauty standards that we grew up with. So, Totoo. the reason why I can't just release, and dami kasing trendy pieces, diba? And dami humihi sa akin na, you should make tank tops, bikinis, you should make this, that. And I know I can do that. That would be, actually, if I do that, that would be easy money. Alam mo yun, bili ako ng maraming supplies na yung mumurahin, and then printan ko ng morena, sell it. But my problem with that is, free size yung mga ganong options. Mm, yung murang mm, mm, options, mm. they're free size. And that won't be ex- inclusive to a lot of people. And hindi ko, hindi ko kaya na i- magbenta ng something na hindi ganun ka-exclusive. So now we have our sizes. We start from toddler. We go up to double XL. And we're trying to find like a supplier that will supply even bigger than that if possible. Pero yung I think one I, size I, I fits think I all. can help you with that. Ooh, let's talk. <laughs> Sige. <laughs> yung um ano tawag dito? Yung yung free one size, size one size fits all. all. Size. That's just not something. Yeah, that's not something I am willing to do just for the sake of having more designs available. So, ayun, I guess I do lose I I feel like I lose some ideal profit from that but at the same time the community matters more so exactly i'll figure out a way to make those happen without um e- even if it's gonna take more time it's gonna take more time a lot more effort pero i think it's worth it because that's Totoo. what we I'm, stand for yeah that's also maybe the reason no it's not maybe that's also the reason why your community is so solid oh my gosh guys kung wala pa kayo sa morena the label group you have to be there kayo manggi club kayo manggi club you have to be yes. there sobrang sobrang engaging ng mga tao sobrang babait sobrang responsive alam mo yun it's, it's a it's a very positive community it's all because number one the brand is really authentic to their whys and their core values kumbaga parang um, it's a safe space for you kaya nagfo-flourish lahat ng mga communities na ginagawa ni, Ay- ni Madam Ayin so stay authentic and stick right. to your core values. I, w- <laughs> I wish I could manage the communities more. Because you know how I create content for a lot of things. And I want to uh. be more hands-on. But sometimes it's so fulfilling seeing people lead conversations. Like I don't have to post every day because they post. They share. And it's, it's amazing to see that mm. na, we have so many confident leaders here. And Toto people who share their stories take initiative etc it's so nice yung communities pa. with the lana group yes with the community ah yeah so nice. oh, oh. sobrang so, sobrang nakakatuwa din um both for lana and mink they are all very supportive minsan um yun nga totoo yun merong mga questions from other people na as in mga hindi na namin kilala yung mga nagre-reply. Na tipong, for example, magpo-post pa lang sila na, Hi, what are your thoughts about the Meet Mink Bundle? Okay ba? Effective ba? Hindi pa nasasagot ng customer care namin. Ang dami nang, nag, ang dami nang nag-comment, Yes, yes, please, blah, 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 ganyan, ganyan. Tapos they, they give their own insights, ganyan. Tapos even if uh, meron ding mga questions or may mga kunwari, syempre, hindi na rin naman natin mapit ma- our skin is very unique. So, merong mga um, products na hindi mag-work sa iba. So, they post on the mm-hmm. on the group na parang, Hi, I think this product doesn't work for me. What should I do? Ang dami rin mga um, informed clients na sila mismo, Oh, I think you have to stop it. And then, re- you reintroduce it after a week. Na parang, oh my gosh, nakakatuwa na we built this kind of authentic community na nagtutulungan talaga. So, ako, dati kasi yung fear ko of not creating a community is baka kasi maging toxic. Yun yung pin- isa sa mga fears ko before, kaya ayokong mag 
um, gawa ng mga groups groups kasi baka mamay oh baka mabash ako or something pero mm-hmm. if you yeah. fully communicate who you are as a brand and who you are as a person ma- makikita ng mga tao yan eh kasi ang mga consumers and clients and followers natin matatalino yung mga yan don't ever try to deceive them kasi maaamoy ka na nila a mile away and as long as you communicate as long as you tell them yun nga kung ano yung totoo regarding your brand etc etc mararamdaman nila yun and they will reciprocate the love they will reciprocate the support mm. yeah so for our worksheet we will be ano we will be identifying our core values isha share namin sa inyo ni ayin yung top 5 core values namin uh, so sige you can start madam what are your 5 values. So my first value here is compassion. And I think more than anything, I want to put people first and relationships first. Like what I've said in, in previous episodes, you know, like I always want to function from a place of compassion. So even if, you know, my issue is ganyan, always asking myself, what is the compassionate thing to do? That's very important to me. Kahit na, you know, I'm I'm human. That doesn't always um, translate sa lahat ng bagay. Pero that's where I wanna come from. So compassion is my number one value. What about you? What's your number one? Mm-hmm. Ako ang um, hindi naman na siya necessarily number one. Pero um, eto talaga. Parang lahat number one yung core values ko. So <laughs> one core value I have is authenticity. Uh, na mention ko na rin to sa previous episode before, pero authenticity is one of my top core values. Kasi I want I wanna function. I wanna live a life that is authentic to myself and to others. I want to live a life that is true to my core. What not very true ako to my being na hindi ko kailangan mag-pretend, hindi ko kailangan i-please yung iba, hindi ko kailangan mag-function at a point na magugustuhan kaya nila to or hindi. Number two. Well, okay, again, like you said, wala namang number one or two. Everything's like equal. <laughs> um, but I guess the second one that I want to share is integrity. So, I, as much as possible, I want to be consistent about what I say and how I feel and how I act. So, if I say na this is what matters to me, then I want to stay consistent, whether it's today, 10 years from now, or whatever. Um, this is something that I really care about, which is why I'm careful about the, the projects that I work on, what I say online, and um, how I act as just a general human being. Um, yeah, it really matters to me. And more than anything, I think ako yung nadidisappoint sa sarili ko if hindi ko, hindi ko to nasusunod. So, I want to be someone who's full of integrity. Ako naman, next ko is uh, people and planet over profit. So, um, we all know that I am, I have several businesses and it will never be perfect. Sobrang hirap na um, maging carbon neutral company. Although, isa yan sa mga pangarap ko. I want to donate and fund NGOs to be, alam mo yun, to help the environment and stuff. And I realized na while I am doing this, while I am, um, kumbaga parang sobrang hardworking ako with, in terms of business, isa to sa mga reasons kung bakit ako nagpupurisige. Um, I wanna earn more to support mga organizations and to support my people para kumbaga, I want them to flourish. I want them to flourish for my people. Number two is I want the environment to flourish. I want to conserve. Uh, as cliche as this might sound, pero sobrang totoo siya para sa akin. Um, I, I really want to save the environment and this is one of the reasons why I work so much. Kasi gusto kong magka funds. <laughs> Alam mo yun, parang ayoko nang isipin kung kapag ba nag-donate ako ng ilang million, wow, pag nag-donate ba ako ng ilang million sa isang NGO na to, hihirap na ba kami at malulugi na ba yung kumpanya? Ayoko nang isipin yung ganun. Gusto kong maging ano, enough. 
um, capable enough to help out. My third core value is community. Because I believe that we're nothing without the people around us. So it really matters to me now what we foster and what we work on also gives back to our community. So in I guess in my case, you know, Filipinas, Filipinos, uh, we have the Morena, Moreno community, and we have the Camp Confidence community, and we're mm. ever growing. And I'm really proud of that. So, yes, I think it's just fostering a good environment for our community. Totoo. Yes. Um, cherish them always. Because you will never be where you are, where we are, if True. not for them. Sobra. Mm-hmm. Uh, ako naman, next ko is kindness. Uh, ako, be kind no matter what but always have your boundaries hindi pwedeng sobrang bait mo lang lagi pero inaabuso ka na <laughs> hindi pwede yon. you have to have your walls as well you have to have your boundaries pero as much as you can be kind be kind um, kahit yeah. um, kunwari may basher ka or merong complaint sa business mo it's okay they have they can have your own opinions and you are a proactive person no one can harm you no one can hurt you if you don't allow them um you have to have that wall as well but at the same time always always spread kindness as much as you can however you can sabi nga nila it doesn't take much to be kind, di ba? Sobrang important din talaga sa akin yun. Na mahirap din talaga, sobra. Kasi meron talaga <laughs> ibang mga taong nakakagigil and they don't even deserve your kindness. Ramdam mo yung gigil ko. Pero, um, as a person, it will never make you, it will never move you forward if you hold on to that angst, if you hold on to that anger. Let Totoo. go and be kind. For my fourth one, my fourth value would be forgiveness. And I think this goes for both myself and for other people. It's definitely difficult. I have to say, I still hold on to some grudges. I feel like human nature, you know, if somebody hurts you, it's like, Mm-mm. you know, we tend to be vindictive. We want revenge. Pero I just don't want to live that way. So forgiveness is something that I always remind myself to to remember. Especially Halimbawa, if I'm frustrated with myself, I can't move forward if I don't forgive myself. If I don't forgive myself for my mistake, Hindi, I can't do better. So forgiveness is one of the things that I mean if I could describe my relationship with myself, it would be forgiving. It's not confident, it's not you know, I feel like a lot of people would assume that it would be confidence because it's camp confidence and everything. But it's really forgiveness. I, I get my confidence from being able to forgive myself. It's self-compassion. It's all about loving, giving loving kindness to yourself whenever you feel like you um, you are failing. When you feel mm-hmm. like hindi mo nagagawa yung mga kailangan mong gawin, always, always forgive yourself and others. Especially siguro din yung iba. Na forgive others because it's so unfair na tayo nag-hold tayo ng grudges sa sarili natin. Tapos sila, they're living the life. Alam mo yun. Parang hindi, hindi fair din sa sarili natin if we never forgive others. So, ang aking next naman is leadership. Uh, leadership in terms of not just um, leadership sa business, but I think leadership in life. Ako kasi, um, yung mantra ko nga, di, ang mantra ko is to help others as much as I can, however I can. So, I think I can do this, I can help other people by leading them, um, g- leading and gui- guiding them in their life. Yung, I had this recent conversation about my sis- uh, with my sister na Alam mo ate, ang risk taker mo no, sabi niya, ate ang risk taker mo. I think you are making mistakes just so we won't have to. Ganun. I love <laughs> that. Parang, That's so nice. Na sabi niya, um you take risks so much to a point na kahit feeling mo alam mong magfe-fail to, you'll try it anyway because you just want to prove yourself na 
Oo nga, mali nga talaga to. Or oo nga, tama nga talaga to. Kasi you always tell me, sabi niya, lagi mong sinasabi sa akin na, I will never know if I will never try. Na parang kahit feeling mo papalpak to, sige, go lang. At least malalaman natin kung pumalpak nga o hindi. Ganun. So, I think I wanna lead others in that way. Not in terms of gusto kong pumalpak, ah. Pero in terms of, <laughs> siguro, I think sharing the wisdom sharing all the learnings that I got mm. from my life just so hindi na nila pagdaanan yun. May, it's Pero also... Pero ate, no? <laughs> panganay din ako. Panganay. That's also one of the reasons why I share or I tell stories. That's also maybe one of the reasons why I would like to create a business course in the future kasi ayoko nang mapariwara. Mapariwara talaga. Ating-ate. Mm-hmm. Ayoko mapariwara yung ibang mga uh, small business owners and danasin pa nila yung nadanas ko. Kumbaga, it's it's a wiser way to do things and to um, go on with life. Na matuto ka na sa not, not for your mistakes but Um, learn from the mistakes of others as well. So, gusto ko lang mm-hmm. i-impart yung wisdom na yun through leadership. Leading by example. Leading by thing. example. <laughs> And fa- <laughs> making mistakes just so you won't have to. <laughs> yeah. She, ano, ano yun? She walked so you can fly. She, <laughs> di ko alam yung how, how the saying goes. Basta yun. <laughs> Ayun. How about your next? The last one. Yes. The last value for me would be gratitude. And this one has a lot to do with the mindset. I realized na uh, the the reason why I'm, I guess, a positive person, it's not because I'm positive or because I don't go through difficult things. It's because I always come from a place of gratitude. You know, like, I'm always grateful that I get to do this at, at all. That's one thing I always say. Na, okay, this may be difficult. This might be blah, blah, blah. Pero at the end of the day, I get to do this. I get to be here. I get to be me. I get to try. And being grateful for the very, very smallest of things, it really makes a lot of difference. And it really has guided me to where I am today. And it still guides me, continues to guide me. And I hope I can continue to have that you know mindset because it really makes everything much more enjoyable and fulfilling and it keeps us moving forward if we're coming from a place of gratitude Chaka, when everything doesn't fall in place alam mo yun kapag mer- merong mga times in life na no matter mm-hmm. how you plan it no matter how you kumbaga parang pinraktis mo na to sa utak mo pero hindi pa rin ganun yung nangyari it, yeah. it is important to be in a place of gratitude kasi at least you did your best ba? Diba? at least you did your best ako naman yung last ko is um, giving back I always mm-hmm. would yung last core value ko is giving back I would always want to pay it forward kasi ang daming mga tao na tumulong sa akin para mm-hmm. mapunta ako sa state na to mapunta ako sa life yes. na gusto kong i-live Kumbaga, I, I, I would honestly say that I am living my dream life right now <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> True. Wait lang. Oh my gosh, wait. Uh, I'm trying to let that sink in. I am That's living amazing. my dream life. And I will never be here if not for the people who supported me, if not for the people who hurt me, if not for the people who guided me to be here. Mm-hmm. And as as someone na natulungan, gusto ko ring mag-give back. I always want to give back however I can. Um, may it be financially, may it be emotionally, may it be, alam mo yun, sharing wisdom and knowledge in terms of business and in life. Mm-hmm. I think that's also one of the reasons why I am very passionate with whatever I want to do. Kasi gusto kong ipakita sa mga tao na mahirap ang buhay pero kakayanin ang buhay as long as you help each other. Ganun. Amen. So, Rest and give back. 2021. Yes. Pak. 
Oh, I love that so much, madam. And I think um, for anyone of our listeners, if you guys want to uh, figure this out as well, we will be sharing a worksheet on mm-hmm. our Instagram page and our Facebook community. Uh, we have a list of core values. Na we actually lifted this from Brene Brown. Do you yes. know Brene Brown? Yes, of course, madam. OG. The best. Yes. Oh my god. Lahat ata should... ng mga magagandang quotes galing kay. <laughs> Brene Quotable Brown. quotes, Brene Brown. <laughs> I can do a whole episode just on her, but oh my yung, yung TED Talk niya talaga about yung vulnerability, Totoo. it changed the way that I, I looked at things and uh, her Netflix special. But anyway, Totoo. so uh, meron siyang list of core values. Now, we're gonna be reposting that and you mm-hmm. can also share with us your core values after giving it some time to think like what what values do you always hold on to and what values do you want to guide you yeah and no pre- yeah no pressure though kasi again hindi ma- hindi madali makuha yung core values and it's mm-hmm. okay it will change and it's okay and ayun yun lang at least meron na rin kayong guiding principle i love that so much Speaking of giving back, segue to our <laughs> giveaway, a skirt. <laughs> Galing nun na. <laughs> so speaking of giveaways, thank you so much for tuning in up until the end of this episode. So dahil you tuned in, we will be giving away one Studio Neo from Studio Philippines. Actually, it, this is a Swedish company, tama ba? This mm-hmm. is a Swedish company. And yes. I super love this one, Studio Neo. It's a it's an earphone. Ang pinaka love ko dito is it's very functional. Hindi siya nalalaglag sa akin. When Ito I or. do yoga, it's very snug. Ayan no, ganyan siya. Merong mga ear... It fits Ta-da. your ear, depends sa size ng ear mo. And it also has long hours of playtime. It's 20 hours of playtime. Um, wow, isa pa sa mga tagal. best, oh, oh, isa pa sa favorites ko dito is, oh my god, madam, carbon neutral company sila. When they, when they <laughs> emailed me about this, hindi kasi ako masyadong um, nag yes sa mga brand deals, as mentioned kanina. Pero nung mm-hmm. research ko yung company, oh my God, carbon neutral company sila. Tas Goals. Parang, okay, wala na yung ibang features na sinabi nyo. Although, yes, maganda sila. Pero, the one that made me say yes is they are a carbon neutral company. And, I love that. Here we are. They are sponsoring are. Camp Confidence. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of us. And, we will be, they will be sharing, they are generous enough to share one, Studio Neo. And, all you have to do is follow Studio at Studio on Instagram. Of course, kami rin. Follow nyo rin kami at Camp Confidence Radio. Si Ayin at Ayin Bernos. Ako at Riza Lana on Instagram. That's the number one step. Uh, number two is comment. Kung comment sa ipopost naming photo. Kung ano on yung the studio, Camp Confidence Instagram. On Camp Confidence's Instagram. Kung ano yung studio niyo color you'd like to win. And then your takeaway from this episode. So number one, follow. Mm-hmm. Number two, comment. That's it. Tapos ang winners will be announced on our next episode. And then what we currently have right now is the Studio Neo in Sound. I love it. It's the colorway of my life, madam. Meron din silang iba we, ibang we colors. We chose the same color, no? Mm-mm. Yeah, oh, 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 It's so nice. It's Ikaw, so anong favorite mo about this one? Well, first of all, it's very functional. And ang, ang reliable ng Bluetooth niya, especially for somebody who I, I love Bluetooth. Um, I love the Bluetooth technology. Pero tako tako kasi sa nagfail, you know, at some some points. Um, may mga stuff na hindi ko ma I can't rely on some of the stuff that I have. And I'm really glad that when I use started using Studio, okay naman siya, and I can really take it from like my errands sa umaga sa gabi ganyan. And I just feel like they also match my outfits. Yeah, I'm just saying. Totoo. <laughs> so cute. And it's and so it's, sleek. It's very sleek and very stylish. And to me, that really, I, I really care about that. Because you know how I like to dress up? <laughs> so, <laughs> that matters to me. That mm-hmm. sold me. 
So we also want to invite you guys to an event on March 27. That is the studio online concert with Sandro Cavasa at Dalana, a Swedish artist who made music with the late Avicii. So the concert is exclusively on www.studio.com. That's S-U-D-I-O dot com. So that will be 1 a.m. in the Philippines. So if you're up and you want to hang out and check out the concert, go to studio.com. Plus, if nice. you wanna if you wanna buy um, yung studio headphones na, you can go to studio.com slash ph and then upon checkout you, you can put camp fifteen. You get fifteen percent discount and free shipping worldwide we have a discount for code. this. Ang taray, meron na tayong discount code. We are legit. <laughs> yeah, so you get yeah, a discount <laughs> code. You get fifteen percent off. Free shipping, plus you also get the um, cleaning kit. Yay! Thank you so much. Have a great week ahead, lovely humans. See you guys next week. See y'all.